Greetings podcast listeners. In today's episode, I'll be speaking about sports people in the LGBTQ plus community. Firstly, let's talk about the late footballer Justin Fashionu. Fashionu was the son of a Nigerian barrister who lived in the UK, and his mother was a Guyanese nurse named Pearl. Upon the separation of his parents, he and his younger brother John were sent to a care home ran by Barnandos. From the age of six, he and his brother were fostered by Alf and Betty Jackson and were brought up in Shropham, Norfolk. Fashionu began his youth career with Norwich City, and towards the end of December 1978, he became a professional footballer. In 1980, he won the BBC Goal of the Season Award for a spectacular goal against Liverpool. In August 1981, he permanently departed Norwich after loans to Adelaide City in 1980 and 81, becoming Britain's first £1 million black footballer when he signed for Nottingham Forest. However, his career deteriorated with the revelation of Nottingham Forest manager Brian Clough that Fashionu had been frequently visiting gay bars, and he called them Bloody Puffs Clubs. Clough later stated that he regretted the way that he treated, and how others treated, Fashionu. In 1990, Fashionu agreed to an exclusive article with tabloid newspaper The Sun, in which he came out as gay. The headline of the 22nd of October 1990 was One Million Pound Football Star, I Am Gay, on the article. He claimed to have an affair with a married Conservative MP, whom he first met in a London gay bar. A week following the publication of his article, his brother John agreed to an exclusive with British newspaper The Voice under the headline, John Fashionu, My Gay Brother is an Outcast. After moving to the US, he was accused of sexually assaulting a 17-year-old boy in March 1998. The boy claimed that it had been after a night of drinking, and the assault occurred when he was intoxicated. The boy claimed that the assault occurred in Fashionu's apartment in Elliott City, Maryland, US, and at the time, same-sex relations were illegal in the state of Maryland. As he believed he would not be given a fair trial in US courts due to his homosexuality, he fled to the United Kingdom. Sadly, on the morning of May 3rd, 1998, he was found hanging in a storage unit in Shoreditch, London, which he had broken into. In his suicide letter, he admitted to the affair, but wrote that it was consensual. Another LGBTQ plus sports person is Nicola Adams, an Olympic gold medal winning boxer who happens to identify as lesbian. She was born in Leeds, West Yorkshire, on the 22nd of October 1982. As an amateur boxer, She won gold at the London Olympics in 2012 and achieved a second gold medal at Rio 2016, both in the flyweight division. She is also the first openly LGBT plus person to win an Olympic boxing gold. In November 2019, she retired with an undefeated record due to a torn pupil and fear of further damage to her eye and permanent eye loss. She held the World Boxing Organization female flyweight title in 2019. Furthermore, Adams was the first to be featured in the same-sex partnership on Strictly Come Dancing, as she was a contestant on the British TV series in 2020, alongside professional partner Katia Jones. Sadly, they were forced to withdraw from the competition on the 12th of November 2020 after Katia Jones tested positive for COVID-19. Tom Daly is a British diver. He has won a total of 12 Olympic gold medals, five silver medals, and four bronze medals, including 2012 Olympic and 2016 Olympic bronze medals. In a YouTube video on the 2nd of December 2013, Daly announced that he had been in the relationship with a man since earlier that year. This was later revealed to be Dustin Lance Black, an Oscar-winning American film screenwriter, director, and producer. In the video, he confirmed that he was still attracted to women, and has maintained this since then. In an interview in 2018, Daly labelled himself as queer, and stated, I am not 100% straight, I am not 100% gay. On the 1st of October 2015, Daly announced that he and Black were engaged, and on the 6th of May 2017, they were married at Bovey Castle in Devon. Their first child, a son, Robert Robbie Ray Black Daly, was born via surrogate mother on the 27th of June 2018. Finally, Martina Navratilova is a Czech-American former professional tennis player and coach. She is widely considered one of the greatest tennis players of all time, winning 18 Grand Slam singles titles, 31 major women's doubles titles, and 10 major mixed doubles titles. With a combined total of 59 major titles, this marks the Open Era record for the most Grand Slams titles won by a single player. Also, 
She was ranked Ladies Singles World number one for a total of 332 weeks and a record 237 weeks in doubles, making her the only player in history to have held the top spot in both singles and doubles for over 200 weeks. In 1981, Navratilova gave an interview to sports reporter Steve Goldstein from New York Daily News coming out as bisexual and revealing that she had a sexual relationship with feminist writer Rita Mae Brown. They had broken up because Navratilova feared that coming out would affect her US citizenship application. The article was released prior to her consent within that year. Navratilova later stated that she now identified as a lesbian. From 1984 to 1991, Navratilova had a long-term relationship with American author Judy Nelson, who at the time of their romance was married with two children. They split in 1991, and following a preliminary lawsuit, which was televised, they settled the terms of the end of their relationship in a settlement outside of court. On September 6th, 2014, Navratilova proposed to her longtime girlfriend, former Russian model Julia Lemongova, at US Open, and they married in New York on December 15th, 2014. Thank you for listening to another episode of my podcast. Please share my podcast to your friends and relatives, and subscribe to be notified of future episodes.